Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're very, very well. Uh, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. Um, and this is going to be a reading for the 14th, Thursday the 14th of September, but you know it is a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. So pile number one. Uh, I went for kind of grounding crystals today because I'm feeling a little spacey, to be honest. Um, and I'm... Oh, my voice just went... <coughs> Interesting. So pile number one is the red jasper, which is really good for uh, your root chakra and grounding your energy. Pile two is the orange citrine, which is good for your sacral chakra. And uh, pile number three is the pyrite which is really good for attracting abundance and for your solar plexus chakra, like giving you motivation and um, self-confidence and personal power. Also, if you need to make a decision, it's good to play with your <laughs> solar plexus because it, it helps with that. So um, I'll just give you a second to choose your pile. Okay. Move that guy out of the way. And pile number one, you guys have the red jasper. Okay, so you guys have the seven of cups. <laughs> I always feel like, see this woman's face? She's just like looking at the camera like, ah, oh, this bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because she's got this woman here that's like, oh, I can't decide what I want, too many options. And she's just like, ah. Oh, bitch just buy something and get out <laughs> um ooh, okay so you have the world and you have the ten of swords and you have the knight of cups immediately after that i really like that version of the knight of cups i just think it's really cute like the colors and stuff i just think it's really pretty okay so i see an ending here um let me just move that forward It's not really any better. Okay, I'm just gonna stop trying. <laughs> um, so I see an ending here, okay? I think this is for those of you who have recently kind of made a decision to end something. If you've not done that, or you're not thinking about doing that, I'm pretty sure this isn't your pile, okay? You know, so if you're watching this and you're like, I don't want to end anything, then it's not your pile, okay? Um, sometimes that happens, you know. But see with the Seven of Cups, I would say, Either you had multiple options or you weren't sure what to do. I th this is about love, I would say. Um, like maybe, maybe you weren't sure what to do about a situation or you weren't sure which way to go. Like you weren't sure if you should walk away from someone. Uh, if that's the case, I see you very much walking away from something here, <laughs> like, and not even looking back. Because you have the world and the ten of swords, which are both cards of ending. You know, the world is a, a, a very final ending, and it's something that has taken a long time to come about. But I think you're going to be very happy. Like, that's what I see here. Because you see how happy she is? It's like a burden. You know, she's very happy. To get rid of that hat she's like yeah bye like don't don't want that shit anymore and i feel like this is you i mean i don't think you've stabbed anyone in the back but i feel like this is you you've just ended it and you're like we're done <laughs> we're done we're done we're done um you know the person that you're leaving behind is i maybe they're not going to be very um I want to say shocked, actually. They might be shocked when you do this because, and also, it could have been them. Like, one, maybe they didn't know what they wanted or they were kind of wishy washy. Or, see, the Seven of Cups can also talk about a situation where it's kind of built on sand, you know? Like, something was an illusion. So, you may have thought that you had. How do I say this? Um. You may have had a sudden realization about someone that they weren't who they said they were or maybe you thought it was going somewhere and you were like, this isn't going anywhere or you just suddenly made a decision and you're like, um, no, we're done. We're just, we're done. Um, and I feel like someone immediately comes in. <laughs> like, immediately. I feel like it's almost immediate 
someone new comes in, this Knight of Cups. I feel like this person, whoever they are, I feel like they're new, like I said. I mean, you might know them, but it's it's a newer energy and uh, it's almost like they've been waiting <laughs> in the sidelines for you to make this decision. They just said your spirit guides are cheering, so I guess your spirit guides are like, yay, <laughs> we like this decision, that's a good call. Because I think, see with the seven of cup, uh, sorry, the seven of pentacles here, it might have taken you a while to see things clearly. Yeah, look, you have the ace of wands. I think you're seeing something clearly. And you have the five of cups here in reverse, so this could have been a situation where, you know, you were... Um... Yeah, I see the Nine of Wands here as well. Like, I see the, a, a situation here where you could have been very hurt. You know, um, someone kind of kicked your cups over. But the thing is, you have a soulmate coming in. That's what I always take these two cups to represent. Because in the tarot, you know, the two of cups represents a soulmate. So, I feel like that is who is coming in for you. But you had to, you know, end it with this other person first. Yeah, I feel like you're done. The person that you were dealing with may have been like a very in and out energy or something like that and you're just like, you know what, um, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Goodbye. So I'm going to pull one card on this Knight of Cups dude. Uh, who is this Knight of Cups? Because I feel like there's just a space there. That's a, a space. I'll just stutter my way through this reading. <laughs> is there a full moon or something? There is. Is there? It's a full moon or a new moon. I can see it on the calendar. I bet that's what it is. What is this Knight of Cups? Or who is this Knight of Cups? Hmm. You have the Page of Pentacles. I'm going to reshuffle that. I don't really like the way it came out. Can I have one card for this Knight of Cups, please? Honestly, Pile 1, I feel like they're going to come in almost immediately. <laughs> What is this Knight of Cups, please? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Spirit, give us a card, please. What is the Knight of Cups? Finally. Oh, it's the Lovers. Oh my god. Okay, worth waiting for. Okay. So, wow. This per there, mm, oh my gosh, look. You have the Knight of Swords in the tower at the bottom of the deck. The one underneath that is in reverse, so I'm not going to take it. Just uh, trying to explain my process to you. <laughs> so, the Knight of Cups with the Lovers. This is a soulmate you got coming in here. And they're worth waiting for. Okay, so if you've been through like a lot of shitty relationships or, you know, you feel you know, you've just had your fair share of like crappy relationships, like this, this person's going to be worth it. Like really worth waiting for. And I feel like they're going to come in very fast. And you know, the tower usually represents things changing, you know? Yeah, like whatever you were dealing with in the past, I'm going to come back to this person, but whatever you were dealing with in the past, it just wasn't stable. You know, the tower is something because, you know, you have the three cards on top of each other. Um, the tower is, is, an, is an unstable structure. That's why it has to come down. So I feel like whatever this was you were dealing with in the past, maybe there was an like an element of illusion around it. Um, but whatever it was, it was not stable. So I think that's why you've chosen to end it. And honestly, I feel like this person is going to come like shooting into your life. This person um, is literally swimming over a shark. So the, this person that's coming in might be like kind of a risk taker or like they're brave or adventurous or something. Um, but you know, the lovers talks about a soulmate and this this card in particular, I really love it because it's like just me and you against the world. You know what I mean? Was it, is it Thelma and Louise like take my hand? Let's 
drive over this cliff, right? I mean, hopefully you won't be doing that, but <laughs> it's very much like you and me against the world kind of thing. And I think you're gonna feel really safe with this person. Sorry about the camera. I think you're gonna feel really safe with them. Like I just totally picked up that vibe off that card. There's like a, it's almost like a serenity in this partnership. Like you feel very safe with one another and just very peaceful. That's what's coming in with this person. So whatever crap you've been dealing with in terms of love, I think this is just a message from Spirit to say, look, the worst is over, okay? <laughs> There's no more crap coming, okay? You dealt with what you had to deal with and now here is your reward, this person, okay? Oh, that's a nice message. So that's your message pile number one. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put that in my pocket. <laughs> and as always, I wish you many blessings. Love and light. Take care. Pile two, you guys have the orange calcite. Okay. You have the eight of pentacles. I think this is a pile, you might be a bit of a workaholic because you have the eight of pentacles with this, the, the the orange calcite which is the, the sacral chakra so you know when the sacral chakra is blocked sometimes you can be a bit of a workaholic okay so that might be a little sign you know if that sounds like you that you maybe need to take it out you know get a bit more rest and like work some more joy and fun into your life okay uh, maybe you've had to work very hard to get something off the ground because the Eight of Pentacles talks about a particular skill in something. You know, you've been working very, very hard to solidify a particular skill so you can sell it to people maybe, you know, because it is a, is a card of business, you know, like the Eight of Pentacles talks about some kind of business. Okay, you have the star. Ah. Some of you might have a healing business of some kind, like maybe you're a, a herbalist, like she's in the tarot here. Okay, let's just keep going. Um, oh wow, look, you have the nine of pentacles and the sun. You are gonna be very happy, pile number two. Very, very happy. This looks like it's about money, okay? You know what's coming through? Um, I think you're gonna have a lot more time to rest. Okay, because you guys might definitely be a pile of workaholics, okay? But, I mean, it served you well because whatever this is that you're doing, you're about to succeed at it. But you see here, in this Nine of Pentacles, she's like reading a book and she's chilling and she's got a Reno. You know, it's something that you've worked very hard on is, is about to pay off. You know, the Nine of Pentacles plus the Sun that's it that's very good news like that's really going to pay off okay <laughs> uh the nine of pentacles is financial independence if you own your own business like i was saying earlier expect it to start doing very well okay and you're gonna have like more time to rest like i said but the sun is a lot of abundance you know the nine of pentacles with the sun that's a lot of abundance coming in you're going to be quite well off. You do quite well, pile number two. Um, but you know what it is? You're good at it. With that Eight of Pentacles, you've put in a lot of work and you're good at what you do. Like the Eight of Pentacles talks about someone, you know, like um, <laughs> Liam Neeson and Taken. I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> um, and I will find you. So you have a particular set of skills, pile number two, that is very, very good and you've worked very hard on them and now it's time for the, the money to come in. Uh, the star card is, you know, a wish fulfillment. You could also be, you know, with the sun and the star. Uh, you might be about to, you know, be like become more in the spotlight in some way, whatever that means for you. You know, so say you own your own business, you know, it might really start taking off and, you know, your business gets really well known. Or the Nine of Pentacles doesn't have to talk about your own business. It can talk about simply a financial independence and wealth, you know. 
Um, so maybe you've been working really hard at your work and you suddenly, you know, your boss is like, we want to give you a promotion or, you know, something like this, you, you know, you, or you've been applying for, I don't know, there's something about ra a raise in station, you know, becoming more seen is what I'm trying to say, okay? And I think as well, they just really want you to know that there's going to be a time period coming up in the future where you can rest more, okay? So you might even need it, <laughs> pile number two, to heal your body a little bit because um, that's what the sacral chakra always reminds me of. And you have water here, which is sacral chakra energy, like taking time out to look after your body, to sleep, to rest, to play, all that kind of stuff. So that's what's coming in for you. And I'm not even going to pull any more cards because that was such a clear reading, okay? So that's your message. So nearly time to rest. <laughs> okay, pile two. Um, so I hope that was a useful reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care. Hey, pile three. Um, I actually already did your reading, but like halfway through your reading, I, I just lost my voice completely. So I had to go and get a drink and stuff. So I'm just restarting it. Okay. So um, you have a really, really nice reading, pile three, like really nice. Uh, you have the, so you guys were the pyrite. Look at this. Look at this. You have um, the empress and the hierophant. And you have the uh, Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That is a crazy combination of cards. Like this just screams commitment. I'm not even going to pull any more cards on these because that's what's coming in for you. <laughs> like if you chose this pile, I feel like it's someone new with the Ace of Cups, but they're going to make you really, really happy. Okay, because just look at this. Um, if I can get her to focus. Like, she is a smitten kitten. Look at that. That is the cat that's got the cream. See how her little head's all sparkly? I, I feel very much that this is going to be like a head in the clouds thing for you. Like, you're just going to be like, oh my god, this is like, so this is so nice. And the Ace of Cups, this is like overflowing love. You know, your cup is like your emotional cup. <laughs> your cup of love is, um... It's just going to be overflowing with this person, whoever they are. And you have the two doves up here, which just always reminds me of kind of soulmate energy and like a really peaceful, happy relationship. It could, you know, it could even talk about past lives. You might know this person from a past life or something like this. But this is like marriage or whatever you're looking for, you know, long term commitment. If you're looking for a marriage, this is marriage. OK, the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. For show, <laughs> for show, um, you know, the dogs, the kids, the the mortgage, the car, all that shit. Like, <laughs> that's what that is. Like building a legacy. There could also be a pregnancy pile number one. Uh, sorry, pile number three. You see how the I actually tried to focus the camera and it didn't focus just there. So this could be a surprise pregnancy with the Empress. Okay. Like you might not be <laughs> planning it. You might not be expecting it, but it may happen nonetheless. Cause there might be a little soul that wants to be born here from this union. Okay. Uh, particularly, I don't know, it might be, well, they often are, you know, like these connections are kind of written in the stars sort of thing. So there may be a child that's, you know, waiting to be born here. Um, but yeah, you, it's going to be a very happy, very peaceful relationship. Um, is there anything else? It's such a clear reading. I don't think there's anything else. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there, pile number three, okay? Because it's just such a clear reading. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the message. Short and sweet. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care.